update, Rusty. Update. Update. That's not how you update things. Yep. Alright, so, um, we bid farewell to Adam and Robin. Yeah. And, it was uh, sad. It was sad because we have to go home. I don't um, want to go home, Russ. Yeah, well, we figured we'll grab a little something to eat before we leave out on the road. Absolutely, every day. So we went ahead and went to Cookout. How was that? Cookout was fantastic. It was so good. Cookout is like a checker style place. It's just a drive through. Yeah. And you just buy food. So we got like combos where you get two side orders. Two! And then we, so we each got like a sandwich, two sides, and a soda. And we each got milkshakes because they have 40 fucking milkshakes to choose from. <laughs> it's 4 0, friends. 4 0, 10 4s, man. I got peach, Joe got cherry, and they're both awesome. Uh, is that place called Gun? No, Gaddy's or something. Um, there's a Sonic right there, just on the side of the road. Like it lives here. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Alright, we gotta turn around. So we, um... We got our food. Uh, we also got a BLT that accidentally got rung on the bill for some reason. Yeah. Who knows? It was it's a only a dollar, so who cares? We'll eat it later. Uh, what else? So yeah, we said goodbye to everybody at the comic store. We spent a little time there. Mm -hmm. So now we're driving. We're... On our way back home. Yeah, we're heading back in the general direction of home. And we'll see how that goes. It makes me sad. Not because, like, oh, what's the North Carolina's best place ever? Uh, but it was just, you know. It was pretty damn fun. They had some neat stuff here. And it was really a nice change of pace and, you know, place to go someplace new. There's no place called Breakfast, of course, in Maryland. You can get breakfast, of course, but not from a place called that. Like here, you go to a place and it's called Breakfast, of course, and it's wonderful. Back home, it would be called Breakfast, all right. And it would be, all right. So. Yeah. It'd be Breakfast, yeah, that's true. Breakfast, I guess. That's what it would be called in Maryland. Breakfast, breakfast I guess. Breakfast, I guess. <sighs> so, uh, see, now we're just going to be riding for a while. We're going to be riding dirty. Always. For another, uh, according to Butler, six hours. It's a long long time yeah but it's all right oh if we die during this trip this will be our last message it will be so uh don't forget that if we uh something happens on the highway like there's yeah. a giant truck right next to us and the right camera now. survives and the camera makes it through it's pretty sturdy so it probably would and it's a hard drive inside of it so. yeah yeah it's not a soft drive it's a hard drive so i'll stand up well there's a car look at that car crashed on the side of the road hey bridge ice is before road buddy so so if that happens to us, uh, know that we loved you all. I liked a lot of you. Yeah. I was trying to be nice to you. Well, yeah, but they just shot on their own face. Oh, <laughs> you shot on your own face. Uh, Deal with that. So hopefully there will be another update. If not, goodbye uh, forever. Goodbye forever. Hey, buddy. Where you been? I was in the bathroom. Are you doing all right? I'm doing okay. A lot of very filling food had to mix the space there. So are you done? Oh, okay. Feel better? I do. You look a little sad through the lens, through here. You look kind of sad. I'm very full. I ate a lot of good food. It's good. It's very tasty. Uh, I just wanted to catch you walking back, really. That's we can we can talk later. Okay, yeah. This is very loud in here, it so. Is. But I just wanted to catch you come back from the bathroom. We have the footage of me exiting. Uh, Not as much as I wanted, but enough. But yeah, coming from my little encounter, so it was good. Yeah, did everything go okay? It was good. It was very good, actually. Is, can somebody use it now? Depends on the person, I guess, really. All right, anti lights. Hey, folks. Hi, folks. Uh, so we're we're pretty close to home, actually. Yeah. Uh, about about 20, 25 minutes away. Yeah. Made it all this way. We've driven for over six hours to come back to the Beltway and find bumper to bumper construction traffic. Yes. This uh, this infuriates me. I've driven so so long already. And I haven't, we didn't hit any traffic like this except for five minutes in the heart of Richmond. Mm -hmm. It was thick and it cleared right back up. Yeah, just like my nostrils. But no, there is no sinus medicine for traffic, unfortunately. Nope. This is yeah. complete and utter bullshit. So we're sitting outside Annandale in Molasses traffic. Yeah. Uh, 
you can't hear us right now, but a shout out to the Thomas family though, nearby. Shout out. What's up, Thomas family? <laughs> that was good. I like yeah, that shout that was out. Classic. It um, really was. We are thinking if it comes down to it and we can't escape. Right, we would just what? We would just get <laughs> off at this exit and go sleep in their backyard. Right. And I suggested, I suggested we tell them ahead of time. Yeah. But uh, Rusty was like, no, whatever, man. I do that all the time. So hey, it was like, it's whoa. Cool. It's cool. You do what all the time? Not at their house, but people's houses. And I'm like, well, that's really dangerous. And he said. Uh, define dangerous. And I said, you could get hurt. And he said then you're right it's dangerous but but it's also fun it's worth it it's extreme you know it is it's one of the best extreme sports i've heard of it is um, yard sleeping yard sleeping is pretty cool i remember one time rusty was yard sleeping and it was probably about i don't know 20 years ago so he was 11 i was 11 years old i was an early yard sleeper and, well it was early in my career right you, did, you slept late, though. You didn't wake up early. No, nah, I just... I was knocked out. And, uh... I woke up to somebody hit me in the head with a rake. And it was a, it was a child. So then it was hard because I couldn't really fight back because I didn't want to fight a child. Even though I was only one myself. Yeah. It just didn't feel right. But, uh, I just had to stand there and let a child beat on me with a rake. Did you just lay there, like, continuing to sleep? Yeah, I tried to play dead. But the kid... I guess the kid was already hit me with a rake when I wasn't moving before, so this wasn't going to change anything. Then his parents came out, and I tried to reason with them. What'd they say? Uh, well, at first they were just yelling and wondering, what are you doing here in my yard? And I was like, look, man, I didn't want to fight your kid. I didn't want to hurt your child. But he was making it real hard. And then they thought I was some kind of kidnapper or something. But you were a child. You were 11 years old. Yeah, I know. This little kid was sitting there going, I don't want to fight your child. And, um... They tried to call Child Protective Services on me. To protect the child from you? To protect both the child from me and myself. To protect me as a child. Wow. So this guy came and he offered to take me home. And uh, he realized I was hiding a brick behind my back and I hit him in the head. <laughs> wow. And made, wow. A, made a break for it. Is that when you told the guy, whoops, you just shit on your face? Yeah. Sorry, you just shat on your own face. Whoa, Child Protective Service man. You just shot on your own face. What did he say? He was like, it felt like a brick, actually. And I said, you might be right, and I ran. And, uh, yeah, I got my bike. I got my bike to ride. You had a bike? I had a pretty cool bike when I was a kid. It was a Schwinn. Did you do jumps? I didn't do, well. Did you do wheelies? Yeah, I did somersaults. Intentional? It was like, uh, we, we saw a scooter this weekend with a roof, yeah, like a curved roof. And I thought that was cool because you could do uh, scooter somersaults. You could just do forward flips and roll and land back on your wheels. So I did stuff like that, except I didn't have a roof when I was a kid. So I would just go forward on the bike and then put my hands on the ground and flip the bike on my feet over top of me and then land back and keep riding. Yeah, man. It was, it was awesome. So I did one of those just to show off as I got away from the family's house. So let me get this straight. You slept in a family's yard. Right. You were awakened by a child hitting you with a rake. Mm -hmm. Then you 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 would not fight this child. I tried to hold him back without hurting him, but I didn't want to actually fight him. How did you hold him back? Uh, I threw grass at him. Okay, so that's not a very good tactic, but that's okay. Well, it's just, it's, I didn't want to do anything violent, more violent than that to the kids. So. so the family comes out, calls CPA. Right. Or CPS, I guess. Child Protective Services, They're not really agency. Assholes. I don't know. Right. You hit a dude in the head with a brick. Right. And then you, your bike was there. Yeah, it was part You of hopped part. on your bike. Uh. <laughs> and you rode away. I hopped on my bike, rode down to the edge of the driveway, and when I hit the open road, right. I turned right and started going downhill, which had good momentum for me. And then did, you... did the forward flip somersault deal. Nice. Uh, landed back on my wheels and then just pedaled off to Freedom. Now, did you... Uh... Do you have a helmet at this time, or you wait? No, no, no helmet. No. Uh, I just had my backpack with my books. I thought I was going to school. So you slept there on a school night. Right. That's what sucked about sleeping late because I was late for school. Did you get in trouble at school? I almost did. What happened? Uh, the security guard for the school came out and was like, "Whoa, you're just showing up." Yeah, and you said, "Yes, I yeah, was." Probably because yes, you were. Yes, sir. I'm right on time. That's very respectful. I'm right on time. My time's different. 
than the other kids. Is that true? No, it's not. So he tried to grab me, and I did that somersault move again. On your bike? Over his shoulders. Holy shit! It was so awesome. I was basically riding a bike towards him, like this, and he's standing there. Yeah? And what I did was... You just hit him. You ran right through him. I hit the brake real hard and threw my weight forward so that I would go like this on the bike. You fell on your face. Put my hands on his shoulders. Right. And pulled the bike up with my feet and did a flip over him. Landed behind him. Kept on going. And uh, just rode it right into my homeroom class. Now, is that allowed in your school? Yeah, well, my homeroom teacher was pretty cool, so he didn't that worry about it. He's probably, he sounds like an awesome teacher. What yeah. was his name? Mr. High Five. Mr. High Five? Yeah. That's what I called him. I never did find out his real name. I hope that was his real but, name. Uh, as, you know, per usual, I yeah. rode that bike through the front door. All the kids turned and were amazed. Yeah? He looked up, put what? out the hand for it. What for? For the high five. I high fived him, spun my thing up to my desk, my yeah. bike, and then... Hopped right off the bike and straight into the seat. That was pretty cool. This is an amazing story. It was a crazy morning. So, uh, so this all gets back to the fact that you want to sleep in the Thomas family yard. Oh, right. I don't know if that would be allowed. But I was that's... thinking a yard. Any yard will do. I'm a, any I'm yard. I'm a professional yard sleeper. I've done it many places. What are the uh, requirements for a yard that you can sleep in? Uh, darkness. As much darkness as possible. So you're not a day yard sleeper? I'm not a day yard sleeper. Are there such a thing? There may be. I don't know. I'm, I've never encountered any. Well, yeah. You, I've heard you, stories you, about you'd them. You'd be there at different times. Yeah.